Hi, this is Maggie. Today I want to talk about Pluto's transits. Uh, Pluto transit is about 16 years and currently it's in Capricorn. So Pluto went into Capricorn January 25th, 2008. And it will remain in Capricorn until November 19th, 2024. So, uh, I recall in 2008, we had the, uh, it was reminiscent of the Great Recession and the major housing crash, not only here in the U.S., but <clears throat> in Spain and, you know, Greece and all over the world. Uh, the yen was affected. So it was that period of time that was tumultuous. Um, so it's... You know, we're just in for a lot of changes. It's a similar, similar, that was, uh, that was when it entered. So, yeah, it's been in there since January 25th, 2008. And I don't know the exact date of the housing crash, but it might have been 2007, 2008. But um, that was really, so many people, most of the country, <coughs> not most of the country, so many people lost their homes, you know, the stock market crashed and, you know, everybody was protesting Wall Street, especially in New York. They were, uh, they were, uh, they were just, I forget the name of the group. They were sitting in the park and, um, you know, down with Wall Street. And so anyway, Occupy, thank you. <laughs> Occupy Wall Street. My daughter just threw that out. Yeah, Occupy Wall Street was a huge thing. And, you know, they, they were like casing millionaires' house and the 1% movement, which is still going on today. So now, you know, pl prices are inflated. They're just giving out credit, like, you know, just like it was before all this happened. Pluto was in Aquarius, and Pluto goes retrograde, so, you know, it will, it will go back into Aquarius for like a year or so, and then it will go back into Capricorn, and then retrograde back into Aquarius, so, um, so through, all the way through 2024, so at least we've been into it for a while, so you can get a feel of what it's been like. Um, you know, both in the world or whatever government or country, you know, you live under. Um, financially, definitely, it's affected our world, world economic markets. And it looks like an inflated bubble right now. Um, you know, people are going out on a limb to buy housing again. Um, So-called the Great Recession is over. However, I, Trump just undid Dodd Frank law that the laws were that, that were put in place to regulate Wall Street against you know ripping off people their their houses and um, you know just all these all these uh, phony loans and so anyway they're just they're just mailing credit credit applications and we're getting them all the time in the mail so it's just business as usual. Um, it's unfortunate the restrictions on Wall Street have been li lifted because so many people lost their homes. And so, you know, like we may be seeing more of that or just maybe even a replay um, because it's all the way through 2024, November 19, 2024. And, you know, we're in 2018 now. so. You know, it's just the, the credit, <coughs> the credit's running loose and free. People are still buying homes, like going out on a limb to buy homes. But, and Wall Street is just in Trump's pocket, you know. It's, it's always been in the lobbyist's pocket. So we will definitely be hearing it <coughs> a lot from the 1% regarding this, uh, you know. They may take to the streets again, occupy Wall Street. Um, 
But, you know, I really would hate for things to crash and burn because that recession was so, people lost everything. I mean, they were living in tents, you know, tent cities. And these were middle class, <coughs> middle class, upper middle, middle class people living in tent cities here in the U.S. Uh, so I, I really hope we don't have to relive that. But um, there are going to be massive, massive changes. And, you know, the, the good news is we're, we're halfway through. No, I'm not quite halfway. But anyway, since 2008. <coughs> Excuse me. So um, I would say just be careful with housing loans, you know, and with your stock portfolio, if you're, you know, in the market, you don't have to be like paranoid and you know totally pull out or anything. But just maybe be conservative, and especially with credit lenders, you know, they come knocking on your door, flooding your mailbox with flyers and easy credit. Anyone, you know, just uh, give it. A, I would give it a second thought because they they won't think twice to snatch your house right out from under you. <coughs> you know. Uh, yeah, it, it was really, really, really difficult times. Um, and the so-called banks were supposed to, you know, Obama, you know, was trying to help people. So he, he, he's the one, I believe, who put the Dodd-Frank law to, you know, curb in these, these uh, formula loans that, you know, they were just gambling on people's funds. Wall Street was, <clears throat> you know, and just, uh, yeah, so anyway, Obama put that line in, Trump is undoing it, you know, lifting the regulations, so, you know, it could very well happen again, and it just seems like we're in this inflated bubble now, and people, people seem to be buying into this whole credit, easy credit, buying houses, I mean, it's fine to buy a house, but just to be aware, just to be aware of, you know, history, what went on. Uh, yeah. Uh, just, you know, you just don't want to be a victim of the system. And the system is pretty corrupt, <laughs> you know. It's, it, it has been corrupt. And the fact that they've lifted that law to curb in Wall Street, that, that was a horrible thing, you know. Uh, and the easy credit I just went through. So, uh, you know, there could be a housing bubble, housing collapse. I don't want to be all doom and gloom, but, you know, we, we already lived through that, you know. Spain got hit really, really hard. Greece got hit really hard. And here we got hit really hard. And a lot of it is about people, the misuse and abuse of power. You know, Pluto in Capricorn is is, is power, you know, transformation and power in government and authority and um, so it's just uh, it's been misused and you know it, it'll turn around eventually, you know, the one percent could, you know, or just there's going to be some massive changes, going to be some massive changes. Uh, a lot of things may be overthrown. Certainly, Dodd Frank needs to be reinstated. Uh, yeah, I don't appreciate Wall Street gambling with, with people's houses, you know. And, you know, also all these, uh, not brokers so much, not housing brokers, well, real estate agents too, but mostly mortgage loan brokers that just prey, prey on people. Uh, I mean, literally, there were people walking into the dentist's office or the the, uh, the waiting room of, do of a doctor's office and one time trying to sell me a loan, mortgage broker, to make their little commission. And it was totally inappropriate. And, you know, I've seen more of that. So uh, the good news is, is we're into it and that the people who are meant to topple will eventually topple. Pluto's going to clean house, you know, structures. Capricorn is all about structures, and Pluto's about tearing down structures in order to transform. It's all about transformation. 
and Pluto rules Scorpio. And Scorpio is joint funds, joint funds, joint assets. So it's uh, <coughs> definitely destroyed a lot of you know, all, of, all of our banks. Um, you know, they're back now and they're just have as much power as ever. Uh, the restrictions have been lifted and just, yeah, it's just, it's not over till it's over. And uh, yeah, it should be very interesting. Also, Neptune in Pisces, <coughs> it's transit. The outer planets are transformational. They are the ones that hang around for years and they, they change you psychologically or on a transformational level where the inner planets, you know, they just go round about every within six weeks, uh, Jupiter a year. Saturn is, you know, 28 years up. That's your Saturn return. Uh, well, every, every couple of years too, Saturn moves into a new sign. But Pluto, the 16 years, and Pisces is thir about roughly 13 years. So you have to say roughly because the planets do go retrograde. They go back into another planet, I mean, back into the previous sign, and just kind of relive that. And then, you know, they just, they want to go over to make sure that we've learned our lessons. That's, that's the purpose of this, to go back and forth. <laughs> the retrograde, just like when Mercury goes retrograde, you know, you, it's a good time to review your mistakes or to go over things until you maybe learn to do it right or, you know, all kinds of mistakes are made, but it's just a time to to redo your material. That, that's a good way to use it. But, um, so the same with, with Pluto, you know, when, when it goes retrograde or any of the, you know, Uranus, that's a seven year transit. Um, just to make sure that you've learned the lesson, you know. Um, so anyway, I was talking about Pisces, Neptune and Pisces, it's so spiritual. It's the ruler of Pisces. And it went into Pisces February 3rd, 2012. And there were so many significant things that happened in 2012 for me and for many, many other people uh, that I've heard of. I can't name a bunch of events that happened, but 2012, very, very significant year. And that just happened to be when Neptune went into Pisces February 3rd. Like, uh, I believe my father passed away 20, 2011, I think it was. Um, just a lot of, 2012 is just a very significant year for a lot of people. And I've heard other astrologers say, wow, just guessing, oh, was that 2012 by any chance? Because they had heard a lot of clients, you know, talking about, you know, the same things in 2012. So, um, yeah, that may have been when, when Neptune was leaving in Aquarius and going into Pisces. And so anyway, it's, it's a, about 13 years because it goes retrograde, you know, so, uh, and, its transit will finish March 30th, 2025. So, you're around that long. 2025 is, it, it seems like quite a long time, long ways away, but you know, we're in 2017 now, so not really. Um, but Neptune's at home in Pisces, it's the real spirituality. Um, you know, meditation, music ethereal music, um, all things Pisces, all things Pisces. So there's going to be a lot of healing, a lot of service, a lot of uh, humani humanitarian um, help coming out of Neptune and Pisces, maybe to help all these structures that are that are toppling down and just all the, all the corruption that is going on in our world today that needs to be dealt with and is, is being dealt with. Pluto is dealing with it. Um, and Saturn, it's in Capricorn as well, so it will topple these people from power that need to be toppled. And the people who are doing well will stay and 
you know, you know, maybe create new laws or redo or uh, bring about change, bring about much needed change. So, uh, yeah, I mean, nobody wants a major re revolution in their country, but uh, yeah, there are going to be a lot, a lot, a lot more changes. So Neptune and Pisces, though, it just seems like all about love and peace and, you know, drugs and alcohol. I mean, it really wants to escape. Pisces loves to escape and it loves time alone. Um, so, but it's an exceptionally creative time. If you're any kind of a creator, like music, the arts, <laughs> imaginative, you know, like, you know, creating a, a movie, movie script, or um, special effects, or whatever, it's extremely imaginative. So you may come up with inspirations now, just out of the blue, that, um, you know, or art, um, meditation, that you could put to good use. Music, lyrics might just come to you, you know, from, uh, you can think of Neptune like a tuning fork. It almost looks like a tuning fork. Um, you know, the symbol for it. And it, it uh, is very, very, very receptive to like the outer spheres and it picks up a lot of uh, extremely sensitive energy. So uh, music will be felt on a much more intense level. Drug, new drugs will come out. Uh, a lot of people will be very, very sensitive to drugs, so you know they will have a, a much stronger effect on them. Which, yeah, may sound good to some people, but you know it could cause severe harm. Um, yeah, so a lot of healing, a lot of service, a lot of compassion. And Neptune is just a beautiful thing in Pisces, and it's going to be there 13 years. So we're going to have a whole spiritual healing renaissance and intuition. There's going to be psychic uh, discoveries. People are going to be so psychic. Um, just <laughs> you can't even fathom the things that will, will come about in the... But we're, we're pretty much into it. Yeah, it started 2012, and it will go into March 30th, 2025. So I like Neptune being in Pisces. And if you have any planets in Pisces, you know, like if you have Venus or the Moon or any planets at all, I mean, you are so psychic right now. Um, really listen, really tune into your intuition. Listen to your inner, inner self. If, you know, you have a creative imaginative idea you know it's probably brought, brought to you for a reason to implement so like kind of like angels in the woodwork you know you just really want to listen listen to that and it will be there for you know through 2025 so anyway I uh, don't want to be all doom and gloom about Pluto but uh, yeah anyway a lot of things are toppling change is happening much needed change, and hopefully, <coughs> well, I'm sure there will be a better, better world on the other side, and uh, it's what we need. So Pluto's doing its work, Saturn is doing its work, and Neptune is bringing spirituality into the mix, <laughs> which which is really needed. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, please like and subscribe. Thank you.